teams remaining. Dyer team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Mm. Secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dial team back. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Secrets turn to ban. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. <sighs> Dial team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick. Disruptor!
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to me. Ultra Magi! Dire Team Pick. Our world devourer. Dire Team Pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick. Majirsa. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick. Keeper of the Light. Dire team pick. Night Stealer. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Faceless void. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Secrets turn to pick Mirana. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining.
10 seconds remaining. 5 seconds remaining. Thirty seconds to battle. The battle begins. Go for my master.
Tricor's tracks run red. You get nothing. Middle Tower is under attack. Orb later to steal away the intelligence. So, um, yep. 
What I'm getting at here is, yeah, I'm sorry, it's getting a lot of levels, and that is important that Caudal has a good game here for yeah. the success. So is this a four-staff Ags game for Yaps? Yeah, I think so. As per norm? I mean, Lanab's doing a pretty decent job of making the jungle a little bit more difficult, the AOI strat, if you will. Yeah, I, I would say, I don't know if I can give you a percentage on it, but I feel like from the vast majority of games, this is the best item build on Caudal. Sometimes you can skip oh, the four-staff and go straight eggs. There's a glimpse. We've seen this once or twice before. Stuck inside the kinetic field again. Lan M started out with an Infernal Blade. There's another puppy. He's here for backup, <laughs> and that's going to be enough for Vici. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. What, the Illuminate? Yeah. It's like, I'm going to help you guys fight. Oh, I got three CS. <laughs> Why not kill two birds with one stone? That sounds good to me. I mean, Yapser is one of those players. We, we talk about how great he is, but the teams he's been on, they, they allow him to get this much farm as well. It's the, the strategy, like, you, you played with him, for God's sake. Yeah, I know. That, that, I mean, that's why I'm laughing. For at God's right? sake. Because I, I, I remember a lot of moments like this, and it's... You know, I've had games where I'm like position five. I'm like, okay, yep, sorry, I'm pretty close to blink. <laughs> and he's playing this jungle part. And he's like, come on, Sind, I'm 300 gold away from my E blade after I got Ewell's eggs and blink. <laughs> like, come on, man, can you buy two wards? <laughs> he's very greedy. He's been molded differently in secret, though. He's, uh, he's contributing a lot more to the supporting. Uh, I think it was a necessity for them because Puppy is not one of the most selfless fives exactly either. He has uh, pretty greedy games, too, and is used to playing with a bit more stuff in some games. So. They have changed their approach a little bit, but yeah, yeah, sorry. If you can choose a support in the world, or at least one of them, to have great farm on and know they will deliver with farm, he is very good at playing that style of support, which is it's obviously a skill to utilize farm properly on supports. So, right. very good at that. What do we think of Lifestealer this game? Just a, a lineup versus lineup in terms of mid to late game. We don't really have an Infest Bomb, at least not a traditional one. Um, I don't like his chances this game, I'll be honest. I it's think a this... weird game, because... Medusa is pretty freaking good against Lifesteal. Yeah, I think Secret picked it based on necessity. Like, it felt like there wasn't any better option left. But in a Captain's Mode game, I will always get, almost guarantee you that no team wants to pick Lifesteal into Medusa, Doom, and Void. It's yep. like three heroes that are generally regarded as pretty good counters. So uh, definitely not the ideal game for Ace. But, you know, if you have a free, a free game like this, even if you have bad matchups, you can often offset some of the problems by, with good itemization. So we're going to see what he does. He's actually going for an armlet this game against Doom. That like can backfire, um, but most of the time we see Life Steal get this item almost no matter what, except maybe against Ancient Apparitions Ice Blast. Oh, land him. Yeah, he's in a bit of trouble. Chase. Pops a Scorch Earth, so he's pretty tanky overall. Looks like Puppy might have another Magic Missile coming That's up at the Ignite. The, no, the Fire Blast, a Chronosphere onto three heroes. Don't know if they'll be able to get any kills out of this. Looks like Yapsor will be the first to fall. Mystic Snape coming through as well. Look at that damage onto Puppy. That's a second kill for Vici Gaming. And now Fata is the one on the run. The, the tables have turned. Lan M invisible right now, looking for a potential one last Infernal Blade. And that is a third kill for Vici Gaming with wow. a 5-0 lead. That was beautiful. Minutes. That I can totally understand why Secret got baited into that. I thought they had that Doom kill for sure, but last second stick charges into three-man Chrono from Paparazzi. Very nicely done from Vici Gaming getting those kills. Fortunately for Secret, there's no uh, structural damage being done, but obviously the mental damage. We almost had him, and then we died three. And then Fata wrote whoops. Uh, when OD gets Hurricane Pike and uses know. it on Medusa, will he be out of range of Stone Gaze? As we're going to see a potential mm. action here. Rage is popped by Ace. Let you ponder that for a minute. If he uses what Pi the horse happens <laughs> if that occurs? If he uses Pike at max range, I think he is. Okay. It's pretty I'll take close. Your word for it. It's pretty close, at least. Ah, he should he should be out of range, right? I, I would guess I, yes, I would but I, I wasn't one hundred percent sure. He is. He is. Okay. We see that, then we know that Cinder doesn't know what he's talking about. Yep. Most of the time, I just you know roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Forgot to say. Uh, introduction of Sir Action stats in this finals. We <laughs> we had it last year. People loved it, and we've brought it back. People actually hated it, but we're gonna yeah. make them suffer <laughs> with us. Like, why? Mid one invisible right now on the OD. Looks like some pressure will be applied to this tier one mid as Puppy TP's in for support. Lanham still looking for that level six. Tome of Knowledge, not sure if it's still available to purchase or if they've already distributed to another. Oh, they're support. gonna go for this order kill here. And we have Vanish into Illuminate. And lots of damage coming through. Magic missiles there. Do they have enough right click damage with mid one? Looks like Yapsor and Puppy are taking up the brunt of the damage right now. Down goes Puppy, another banish. With the Illuminate, you have to think this will be enough to get the kill, and it is, so it's a one-for-one. One. If okay. you're a Vici gaming fan, at least he got a kill before he died. Could have been worse. Imagine if you had a point Fenrir, in Stone Fenrir. Oh. 
Meanwhile, Paparazzi getting the nice time lock. RNG in his favor right now as Ace oh, he has Chrono shows too. for the first time in the top lane. And like you said, Chrono is available to use. There it goes. Doesn't oh, look like so. Support. Some support coming through, though. Very nicely done from Yapsor. Spata gets the fire or the ignite. Oh, that was even the that was the end of his ultimate duration. That was like really clutch. One second later, and I think the spirit form was ending. Then he can't blind there, and it's probably a kill. Just on the end of that, yeah, came at the right time. A oh, nice mana pod cancel there from Fata. He's he is surrounded by three heroes right now, getting chased. But again, very tanky ogre magi. I do want to say that this thing that just happened in mid is kind of an omen of what could happen in this game. Mm. Uh, how hard they struggled to kill that Medusa without mana leak. Uh, they ran in with three heroes, had good positioning, layered their spells correctly, and still Ori got a kill. Paparazzi already used time walk, but here's the moonlight shadow. They do not have vision to actually finish him off, but they do force an ult out from that Marana. Yeah, so it's like, Buffy, please buy dust. I'm 4,000 gold away from Aghanims. <laughs> Fata TP's out in the bot lane. Lanham still looking for that Doom ability. We talked about this yesterday with the, the scalability of Doom nowadays. Uh, are we going to be seeing a Midas? Doesn't look like he has that. I mean, I think Twitter. yesterday we, we saw Earn Midas, didn't it? Didn't it? Wasn't that the first item? Uh, that was an awfully Doom, right? So. He got a lot more farm. Yeah, uh, that's true. I don't know if it's the right choice in this game. I, I feel like Vici doesn't need to go that greedy. They already have pretty greedy cores in Void Medusa, right? So Doom can just play more of a, a timing in the next 10 minutes where he's strong, and then he can expect to get carried more later on. So I would like to see Lanham getting more value items. Like this urn is nice. Uh, Force Staff, I think, is a really good item against Secrets lineup, which we could see the Doom pick up in this game. Looks like he's queuing up Vessel for now. As we have a tower trade, I believe. Ori got the tower and Ace got the tower. So the two carries, or two of the cores, rather, getting the last hits. All right, here, here's a prediction for you. Okay. We got, we got Void. Level 15 talent. Yes. 100 time lock damage or 300 health? I, at first, when this came out, I was like, there's no way people do not get 100 time lock damage. It's way too good. You have to get that. But I've been seeing 300 health probably more often. Maybe like a 70-30, I want to say. This game, with this position one, are you expecting the time lock? I think time lock damage is good in this game. Um, arguably, the reason the health talent is so good is that if it's the difference between life and death on Void, 300 health can be 1500 health, you know what I mean? Because yeah. then he gets the time walk off. Uh, but since Medusa is the frontliner and is more likely to get jumped on, maybe it's better for the Void to just be this like follow through that gets kills. He's going to go on mid one. Bottom, Young Eleven looking for the potential arrow will connect, and that should be a kill. On to mid one, Paparazzi getting credit for that one. Seven to one advantage for Vici, but only a 1k net worth lead right now. I still think they are very happy. If they could see the state of the game, I don't think they would change their approach at all. If the gold is even come in at 30, I massively favor Vici Gaming in this game, unless we see something magical out of the Caudal, who they don't actually have the best answers for, so I guess that's something to think about for Vici Gaming, and might become apparent later on that they need an item that deals with Caudal, so that maybe Doom gets a Shadow Blade or Blink Dagger and just gets in the back line and messes with Caudal, or maybe you dedicate the, your Mirana to zone him out, something like that. Because Yapsor is getting a lot of farm. He has second highest CS in his team, 84. Minute 14. A lot of those are jungle guard. creeps. A lot of those little that babies in the jungle, they, they're not, they don't count as they full creeps. They less gold. Caudal is significantly worse than he used to be for that reason. Get rewarded way less. Oh, man, and he gets the Doom off on the Life Seer, who's dealing a lot of damage, but won't be able to get the kill. Looks like Vici Gaming are TPing in, but that beautiful nice. Illuminate onto three heroes, but the Glimpse is there onto the Life Stealer. Ace in quite a bit of peril. Nice swap out. This is going to be close. Not able to get the deny, though. Lanham getting credit for that kill. And now Yapsor has to get his horse out of here. He's surrounded again, though. He gets that point booster, making it slightly tankier, but not tanky enough this time. And they committed all of their saves that they had available there to try to save Ace. And when it doesn't work, the fight's just lost. They use Blinding Light, they use Swap. There's nothing left in the tank, so full disengage mode. Two kills for Vichy Gaming, and now they're farming this Ancient stack. Yes, this it's is, already uh, it's looking grim for Secret. I, I, it's only 3k gold, right? But you just I feel like this game at this point is somewhat predictable. Uh, the team fight ability of Secret's lineup. Uh, Perch was talking about how they had a good chance of getting a good laning stage, and I definitely agree with that. Like we saw some some signs that the lanes could go well, but Vichy have stabilized very well and got all of their cores off to a good start after that Mirana had to go all the way back to base. She's still having a very nice impact relative to that Ogre of, of Secret's Ogre. Ogre currently yet to contribute to a kill. Mirana's been part of five. Yeah, I think other than the Coddle, which you brought up quite a few times just because Yapsor's going to be getting a lot of farm, Odie's probably the most important hero for this team. Yes, it is. And uh, he's not having that good of a We time. have an offlane Ogre. We kind of know what to expect from him, right? It's not like anything's going to be 
debuted here for the first time in Dota 2. And then Lifesteer, who's already essentially countered by so many heroes, just kind of that one-dimensional right-clicker that gets kited to a high degree. And then Venge, who's historically, again, in Captain's Draft, at least for this season, actually the last two at least, has not found much success in smaller pools for whatever reason. So I that still, a lot of pressure on mid one this game. I still think the Venge was a good pick, though. It, it, they were just in a really difficult position when they had to pick any hero at that point. Oh, Lanham, Mana League bottom. Doing some good damage. Recall in Ace. That will be a nice kill for Easy kill. And we might see them try to take this approach to the game now. So, the, well, actually, Paparazzi does have a Shadow Warrior. So oh, about to in the top lane. Oh. Do they have vision? There's the Astral Imprisonment. Fenrir's here to play. Along with Paparazzi, they're trying to go for mid one. Looks like the Chronosphere is there. Ori with the right clicks on the sidelines. And this is going to be enough to take out that OD yet again. So a nice turnaround from Vici, despite losing the Doom in the bot lane. I was going to say Secret probably wants to play Split Push at this point. Just a Coddle Split Push, try to isolate heroes. Oh, actually, Fox is going to die top here, maybe. Oh, oh Leap into the stun. There is the time dilation. One more hit from Mirage. Oh, they're actually going to dive this. They're going to oh, go pretty high. Like proc. They're going to get that damage, but here comes Puppy with the TP. Magic Missile, along with Yapsor on this Coddle. What can they actually do? A lot of mana leak. Coming into action, Young Eleven TP's away. Won't oh be able to God, stop they that. They don't have detection. And that Shadow Blade oh. is rough stuff for Secret. That's rough, man. They've been playing against Moonlight Shadow for quite a while, and neither of their supports had a dust there. That could have been a void kill, and that's pretty big for them. Instead, he gets out. They already takes the tower. In the meantime, Secret kind of get nothing there for their efforts. And at this point, okay, so your secret, you want to play split push, right, with your Coddle. You want to push waves, you want to see if you can isolate heroes when they go and defend and push out waves on the other side and then recall in and outnumber and get kills. The problem is when Void isn't showing, it's actually a really dangerous playstyle now that he has Shadow Blade. I think this is perfect itemization so far by Paparazzi. A really big fan of Shadow Blade in this game. And, you know, a lot of other players may be, oh, I'm safe lane Void, I'm farming a lot, I'll go Battle Fury. I think this is the right balance when you have a Medusa safe lane, or mid lane. You don't go too greedy. He's getting the right utility here, and Vici Gaming looking to make a move at this point. Actually, with Chronosphere on cooldown, interestingly, they choose to smoke. This yeah. might make it unpredictable for Secret. Oh, and they find a little bit of a blessing here. Indeed, the double damage on Paparazzi glowing very brightly blue. They're going to run right into Ace. Doom is applied. Arrow will not connect. Ace should just be able to run away here. The Courier taking some damage with a nice fortification. Mid one there with the Astral Imprisonment, and it looks like Vici Gaming now wants to run away. Inside the Static Storm Kinetic Field combination, Doom still applied to Ace, about to run out. They're going to turn their sights onto Fenrir. That's going to be an easy kill for Secret. With that Moonlight Shadow, the question is, do they have more vision? Doesn't look like that's the case. They're running in every which way, kind of separating out Ori. Has a Stone Gaze available. Chronosphere really onto three heroes, though. and this Maelstrom arrow is going to finish off the OD. It's a two for one overall. Make it three for Vici Gaming, and Fata looks to be next on the list. And Vici are absolutely dominating this game. 15 to three. And it's funny because Ace is the lone survivor, and he was the one that was initiated on with the Doom. <laughs> Thanks, Lex. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great statistic. Thank you. Yeah. Didn't they just say 99% of heroes that are doomed are killed? And yep. that's the one guy who didn't die. That, that's, that's definitely an accurate stat. Nice. That's nice. All right. So I guess the next 99 dooms will kill. Aegis going the way of Ori. And looking to be a very, very good next 10 minutes for Vici Gaming. Unless Secret finds some sort of way of smoking in, getting an opening, and activating mainly their OD, who's just really struggling to get yeah. a foothold in this game. He has the drums and two Null Talismans 20 minutes in. No Force Staff, no Blink Dagger, no BKB on the horizon for him. Can we click on Ogre real quick? Fata has been changing his mind about his item Yeah, he was going Axe. I, yeah, I, I wanted to have a discussion about the Axe, because I think it's just a horrible Axe, but we can have a discussion later. He, went at, he wanted to go Axe, then Force Staff, is now switching up to Shadow Blade. Do you think this is the right choice this game? Does it really matter that much with an Ogre? Uh, it allows them to use an Infest Bomb, at least. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. It's something that their lineup is really lacking. It's hard for Lifestealer to really get into the fight. Unless he gets a Shadow Blade himself, he can't really reliably get in on one of these heroes on the back line. So yeah. if the... That was one of the things we talked about at the start of the game, right? Like, Ogre will just buy whatever your team needs. The hero doesn't scale very well. It doesn't need anything because it's very tanky by itself. So you can buy... A little bit of crazy stuff like this. Uh, Illusion will not smoke. fool Vici this time around. Well, in a way, the smoke. Might. Puppy. The Howl Terror off. He's just, he's running in, man. Yeah, he's doing the usual puppy business here. Static field, static, or kinetic field, not able to hold Fata in. The limit comes in. Well, that's a really Only good thing. Connecting stat. on one. Thank you, Slax. 
What does Slax do this time? I don't know. Actually, he posted a picture of dust and then <laughs> some sort of alien language from the future. Great. Oh, oh, Gaming inside trouble. Secrets Jungle. Fata half HP already. Looks like the stun's going to be applied to Young Eleven. Able to it's the Doom leap again. out in time. Doom again onto Ace. All he can do is run at this point. Great. Fata with Chrono the first sacrifice. Again. Chrono onto two. Catches the Doom, but that's okay. That's going to be the second death of Secret and another one for mid one. Yapsor next. Puppy. Able to TP out. No, the stun at the last moment. That's four kills again for Vici. 8K lead, 21 minutes in the game. Vici are playing so well this tournament in general. I've been very impressed. I remember watching some of Paparazzi's games a couple of months back, and I was like, this guy is a bit inconsistent. He's making weird decisions, overextending. He's become much more disciplined in his spell casting and decision making. And across all games I've seen, he had a crazy Weaver game yesterday against OG. This game on Void, every single Chrono, I think he hits the maximum number of targets. Including he's, his teammate that time, but... Well, he had to. I know. He's been, he's been in 16 out of 19 kills on a safe lane Void. His itemization has been perfect. I'm very impressed with the growth, I would say, of Vici Gaming's core players, both Ori and... Paparazzi, for me, are two of the flat-out just best core players we've seen in this tournament. Maybe the best in their respective roles across the games on average. Yeah, so it's interesting no wonder they're doing so well. Yeah, Vici, they've been kind of off and on, in, I want to say, in the last six months. Uh, they've lost a lot to Newbie, yep. but they did beat them 3-2 in the best of five qualifier finals for Captain's Draft, and we're seeing why. They are quite dominant so far in this first game of the finals. And I think they've learned a lot just throughout this tournament. Um, I think after day one, Vici and Secret both adjusted their drafting style a little bit and very quickly picked up on uh, the little bit they were behind in the groups. Obviously, we saw Mineski winning the group with these two teams in, and now they're both in the finals, so maybe he got inspired a little bit by something Mineski did, and maybe a bit by each other. And mid lane, mid one. Oh boy. He has a four step now, so... Should right, be able to be start. Get on. Oh, unless this happens. The glimpse in duel. All Good right. Astral for now. Mid one. He's in trouble now. Very nicely done for now, but he gets swapped at the last moment from Puppy, who gets destroyed right off the bat. Mid one's going to get destroyed as well. That's two deaths in the blink of an eye for Vici. And it doesn't look like this dominance will be slowing down anytime soon. The fist bomb. <laughs> <laughs> the Fata bomb. I feel like I'm watching oh, a pub boy. game right now. No detection. Ogre Shadow Blade with Lifestealer and Fist. <laughs> uh, this brings back memories. So do you prefer Shadow Blade to Blink Dagger in a situation like this? I like think so. This? I think it's the best item he can get. I just feel like Seeker in a really awful position right now. There's just not much to do. They're doing a pretty good job at casting their spells and trying to save heroes. It's just the, the odds are stacked against them, and the enemy team is just flat out just not making mistakes. Yeah. Like, a lot of other teams in this situation that beat you in will maybe give away a kill here or there, or forget to push out the lanes properly, or... Uh, misuse of their spells, but so far, Vici is, is, you can barely put a finger on their play in this whole game. I mean, the thing that makes this more grim in my eyes is that I think Vici's gaming is far better. Their lineup is far better late game. Yeah, I agree. Uh, not to, like, we talked about Medusa and Void ad nauseum, but you have the Doom that we talked about again. He just picked up Midas, so oh, wow. he's okay. ensuring that it doesn't matter how long this game goes, he's going to be super farmed, especially once he gets that Devour bonus goal at 15. Six seconds left on that Aegis, so Ori won't have that to play with, but we'll be going for Hurricane Pike. I don't they know. don't give vision slacks, they give true sight. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> Young Eleven jumps in on the puppy. See the spirit vessel applied, and that is a very easy kill. So 22 to 3, Secret getting completely dumpster in game one. At least so far. Now, is there any hope this game for Secret? Like, what can they possibly do to get back in this one? They just need to change the kill score right now. I think that's the most Flip important. Flip-flop it? No, it just, just fix the memes what? immediately. <laughs> I didn't even notice that, actually. <laughs> Chat's probably going crazy. I'm sure right the fans now. are really happy about this. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for this all week. Finally, a game with 3-2-2. <laughs> Well, uh, Monkey King Bar looks to be next on, on Ori's list of items to pick up. Won't even bother with the Hurricane Pike, unless it's in the Courier. Yeah, I don't really think he needs it. I like this. Like, if you're this tanky and this strong and you don't need to reposition yourself, like, who's going to run in and hit him, right? Like, Lifestealer, yeah. he just pops his ult, he doesn't care. Medu this OD doesn't have Pike yet, so he can't even get himself in a good position to attack Ori. Um, there's no real threat to this Medusa right now. I just don't see the hero dying unless they completely overwhelm her in, like, a four-on-one with no assistance nearby, which could actually happen right now if Secret were realizing this, but the moment it's already gone. Assistance is there, and now Secret are in trouble. There's going to be a glimpse here onto Puppy, I think. Yeah, Puppy's oh, they got Yapsor. He gets the magic missile off. Yeah, Yapsor with the glimpse, the swap. It's kind of a mini one. Puppy trying to sacrifice his life, but Vici Gaming will not be tricked today. That's one dead, and looks like mid one is again going to be the second. Well, they fixed the kill score. 
<laughs> they sure did as looks like Ace is going to hightail out of here with that Spirit Vessel applied. Puppy looks like he's having a 1v1 battle with Eleven and he will drop to the deck. So three for nothing in this mini exchange here for Vici. And Fata will dodge the arrow, but we'll see how long Secret can last in this game. We, I mean, Ace is, I mean, pretty farmed. He has, he has Deso, S and Y armlet. That's, that's pretty damn good, but he's doing, he's doing well under the circumstances that he has. It's, it is really difficult to play this game. It's like, you know, you have a lifesteal with 12,000 net worth and he's been part of two kills, minute 26. It's generally a tempo carry. There's just been no tempo found for oh, here we go. this game. We got a, all right, it is time. Bomb coming for you. It's on Young 11. There's the Fire Blast. Do they have enough damage? They do. He dies mid animation. Thousand One gold for Ogre. Thousand gold. That's what you want to see. Now, <laughs> Ogre. Ogre is going to get some really value item with this thousand gold right now. What, what do you go for? Do you, do you just go ultra mobility for that Infest Bomb, Blink Dagger, and the Shadow Blade? Is that is that a thing? Four awesome. staff, perhaps? Uh, what do you go? I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm really, I'm really trying to think of something. This really feels good like here. that dazzle mid game, right? Yeah, now. it really does. He's queuing up Ags right now as a potential. Yeah, okay, let's thinking, talk about like this. Maybe get some more damage, you know? Like let's... they need something that kills. Yeah. But... No, I agree. I agree. It's just it's options rough. are kind of limited. Yeah. Well, what do you think of Ags on Ogre? Am I, am I a hater? I think it's pretty bad most games when you're playing support Ogre, and that's kind of the only role the heroes played in. Yeah. But the Ags itself in isolation is actually not that bad. Uh, having extra stuns that can multicast and chain can be really powerful sometimes. We're going to oh, see them go on Ori. Ori. But there's the stone gaze, and that means Secret cannot fight, at least not yet. Ori's completely mana leaked. Actually gonna gets go stunned here. from it. There's the swap. The doom applied to Ace. Again, he's just going to continue to right-click. Ori is dead. 422 gold to Yapsor. Secret are going to continue the pressure. Statics are applied, but Paparazzi pops a BKB, but the no avail. That's three dead. Vici Gaming getting chased. Look how fast Ace is, even with Doom on him. Another kill for Secret. Huge out kills coming nowhere. out, absolutely out of nowhere, and a tier 2 tower to boot. And they just, they identified the one play they have left. Find Medusa alone, mana leak her, blind her, swap her. I don't know if they even used a force staff there to drain all her mana. And then they, they get in and get the kill without counterplays being available. I think Chronosphere was on cooldown that time. Damn, they all actually right. managed to force out a buyback. This is pretty big. Still a big lead for Vici Gaming, but if they somehow find this kill on Void, they could get barracks soon. Oh, Ace, he's going to find that Doom, but he blinks away to safety. Question is, will Secret continue the pressure? 25 seconds for Medusa to come back. There's a swap on a paparazzi. He's going to time walk away. Can they kill it? It'll be a dieback. He is dead. 80 seconds. Vici Gaming, another buyback force. This time on Ori does not have Stone Gaze. I have no idea what's going on right now, but Secret have found some life in this. Vici are losing their composure right now. All of these things should not be happening. Dusa gets killed on her own. They try to help her. They lose extra cores. They buy back a core. He gets in a position where he can get swap dies again. And Seeker are just playing for, just hoping for mistakes to come out from Vici. And they're, they're, they're giving the mistakes to them. They're actually letting them make these plays. And a Vici that have been playing perfectly the whole game, more or less, just slipped up big time the last two minutes and lost a big part of the advantage they had built. If, if they had buybacks right now on their heroes, I would still be like, okay, Vici's in a great position. But now that they've bought back both cores, any good play from Seeker right now can can flat out win them the game. Now they're gonna go for this Roshan. Vici will not come and contest this secret. No, there's no void for 30 <laughs> seconds, all right? I'm, that, that's an alternative way of killing Roshan. I would not recommend it. Um, he was just too hideous to look at. They had to banish him. Well, they will get the free rush, like you said. The question is, who takes the Aegis? Either Ace or Mid-1. One. Mid-1's the one been dying a lot. It's a cheese, too. And he will wow. take it. Oh, that's right. That is the second rush. I didn't even realize. Okay, that, that's like the whole timing of the game just gone within the blink of an eye. Yeah, 3k lead right now. It was it was close to 15,000 in favor of Ichi. And just a couple deaths with those buybacks coming yep. into play. This is the, all the difference. These are the kind of things that can happen in games. This is why you don't give up unless you, like, they didn't lose buildings yet. Vici hadn't invaded their base, and Seeker just found this one very minor opening that they made so much out of. It's very impressive here that they managed to get away with this play. Now we'll see what Vici Gaming do, because, you know, now it's easy in, a, in Vici's position to get a little bit scared, right? Like, okay, we have no buybacks on our cores. Uh, need to be really careful what we do here. And then if you get jumped and caught, you lose the game. But Vici are a very experienced team. So they are still going to play aggressive. They feel strong regardless. And will be going for a move of their own here with Smoke and Moonlight Shadow. Secret, having great vision with their wards, realize this is happening and will be backing off to base. And now, this is, you know, to many this might seem like a useless smoke or unsuccessful, right? They didn't start a fight, they didn't find anyone. But what they managed to do is they forced Secret back into their base. They placed an aggressive ward. 
and that will give them perhaps some information later that could win them a fight. Yeah, only time Jam will undo. tell. Oh, well, what do you I think of this devils. build on uh, on Marana? This I, like, game? I like it. So you have you have two really hard right clickers in Void and Marana. You got the tank in front with Medusa. Obviously, Doom utility. Pretty pretty well balanced damage output. Marana deals a lot of damage in the Chronosphere uh, as well. So if Medusa isn't in the greatest position. Young Eleven can put a lot of pressure. This forces Secret to kind of account for all three cores. If you went more of a utility build on Marana, she wouldn't be that big of a threat. You're like, oh, we isolate one of the other cores and kill them, and we're really far ahead in the fight. Marana can fight back. The one thing I would like to see VG Gaming get would be one Lincolns, maybe, against this Caudal. I think this Mana League will yeah. continue to be a problem if they don't get BKB or Lincolns on this Medusa. Well, here, here's a question for you. A swap at somewhat close range, does that Mana leaks, right? I'm pretty sure it does, because uh, it works for Rupture, same kind of mechanic. I don't know I think if it's, they work it's a the certain same way, range. Actually. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. But. I know for Rupture it works 100%, yes. because that is based on uh, just the distance you travel, but I don't know if Mono League is distance traveled or distance moved. You get what I mean? It's like a difference. Yes, I, I do understand. Okay. That's why I, mean, I Because neither of us actually know the answer, no, which is pretty typical. When I, when I, yeah, I just need to make sure when I say something like remotely advanced <laughs> that I got you on my side here. <laughs> remotely advanced. <laughs> Stop docking down to me. Well, 25 to 8 for Vici, but it's only a 3k lead, like we said. The Aegis on mid one right now. It's only going to last for another two minutes. The question is, does Secret want to force the issue, or are they going to use this time to try to get a little bit more map position, map control, and just farm? They need information, mainly. The, both teams are cautious here. If Secret uh, gets some sort of eyes on Vici Gaming's lineup, you'll see them move differently, but uh, for now, it's like, all right, nobody's showing. Maybe Vici are in our jungle. Maybe they're aggressively posed around this top area. Better be safe than sorry. And Vici Gaming don't see Secret either. Yeah. So everybody's just like kind of waiting is, right now. Vici is just chilling in their jungle at the moment. Yeah. Uh, we have the Infest Bomb ready to go. Uh, <laughs> God, I hate you so much. <laughs> I hate you so much. Mid one with that blink dagger now in tow. One minute, 30 seconds on the Aegis. Has the Hurricane Pike as well, so we'll be going for Shivas. So ultra mobility for mid one. Pretty cool choice overall with that drum. And Vici is... They've been in the same spot for about two minutes, I want to say. Slightly exaggerated, but I'd give it a minute now. Like five, six minutes they've been there, I'm yeah. pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah but what's you're right. the time? This what's is the kind of a, This feels Aegis? like a stalemate. It really does. Moment. This does happen sometimes. And the Aegis has a huge part to do with it. Obviously, Vici yeah. has timed it, and... Aegis on buybacks. With less than a minute to go, you have to expect... Of course, the Ags is online for Fata now. We'll see how that comes into play. I believe it used 60% of your current mana, if I'm not mistaken, for that new fire, the unrefined fire blast. Is that right? I believe it's 60. It, it's a large percentage. Yeah, 60%. So you can always cast it if it's off cooldown, but it yes. drains the crap out of your mana which means you can't use your other Fire Blast a lot of the time. It's kind of a weird one. He has Soul Ring, so that gives enough mana in itself for a Fire Blast, and then he can always cast the Unrefined, like you said. So even when he's out of mana, if Soul Ring is ready, the combo will always be available to him. Just, they're playing this very safe. Notice how Secret have progressed on the map in the last minute, like how they have very... <laughs> you see that? What's that? The buyback old 3-2-2 for Medusa, that's actually pretty insane. Go ahead, sorry, I interrupted you very rudely. Yeah, as you tend to. Um, now, but just no, notice how Secret have progressed on the map, right? Like, they went from being inside their base top left, and they have gone all the way to the outskirts of Vici's base and the right side of the map by just slowly moving safely. Oh, oh Doom is going to come out. Doom on to mid one. He's on the run right now. Puppy in position to swap. He does a nice job. There's the Chronosphere only on the one. Looks like Yapsor might be taking the brunt of the damage, but mid one dies on the backside. It's a one for one disruptor for OD. Not what you're looking for if you're secret, at least not yet. Ori pops the BKB. Looks like Fatha was the choice. Not sure if they're going to get him. Puppy in the meantime, getting a lot of heroes to focus on him with that Spirit Vessel and the right clicks. In the meantime, Ace working towards that Medusa on that kill. Three for two overall. And Ori getting very close to death, and secret will finish him off. A triple kill for Lan. Looks like Doom will be next on the list. A triple kill for Ace on top of that. Fata falls to the ground. Paparazzi and company. Everybody is dying. one v one. Just go for it. Let's do it. The, the old-fashioned <laughs> duel. Void versus Lifesteal. That's not a good matchup for Lifesteal either. I think if Lifesteal had a Basher, he might actually try. You know, yeah, just perhaps. roll the dice. It looks like he's going for Heart right now as well. He is super farm. 19, almost 20k net worth on, on You know Ace. what did a lot in that fight? 
ogre eggs. They actually locked down the Medusa for like seven seconds straight with Ogre Man. and Lifesteal and just killed her at her I, tower. I told you it was a great item. Yeah, I know. I love Ags on that hero. You, your Aghanims list is actually what these teams use to draft heroes with. <laughs> oh god, no. I actually don't remember what it is on that list. It wasn't great though. That's I mean, your sure. number one on the list is Alchemist and he's been ignored the whole tournament. So good job on that one. I mean, in theory, it's by far the most broken. Let's not have this discussion because I'm definitely right. And I know you don't like to be wrong. Paparazzi in the bot lane. Of course, the Shadowblade BKB, Mask of Madness. That buyback felt like it hurt a lot because he should have more items in this, I feel like. Yes, he should, for sure. Uh, Vici Gaming are still not in the best position ever considering what they had, but looking at the bright side for them, they won a fight into a secret that had Aegis and Cheese, I believe, at the start of that. They still have the Cheese remaining on Lifestealer. Um, and they didn't take, they didn't even lose their Tier 2 bottom, so. I love how you can tell that there's just these like moments of opportunity that are really small for both teams and they just pounce on them instantly. It's almost like they're playing on instinct. This Blink Doom from Lanham onto the OD, that was, he had a, less than a second to make that decision. And then you look at this kill earlier that just snowballed the whole game for Secret with that uh, Mono League kill. Both of those moments were really short. So it seems both teams have a very good idea and just planning for what their win condition is in the fight, like what needs to happen. And then the moment any opportunity presents itself for them to do that thing, they just do it right away. Yeah, and Doom has been applied to Ace pretty much every fight. He's gotten Rage off most of the time, though, so I feel like he doesn't really care that much about being Doom compared to other heroes. Yeah, the, the Doom and the OD in that fight just ruined him. He did nothing. Mid one got Doomed, he got arrowed. I think they, I don't know if they tried to swap him or not, but he just got killed in the Chronosphere. Yeah, they swapped him initially, and then um, he just got destroyed afterwards. Yeah. The fight was pretty spread, though, so I think the question is, if, an, if a fight is isolated like that, you have three or four fights going on simultaneously, who does that favor? What lineup works better? Because Medusa wants everybody kind of grouped up. Same with that Disruptor to some degree. Obviously, Doom's a little single target, but Vici, is, it's more AoE-centric. Yes. Um, I still like them more in more or less any type of fight, as long as Ori doesn't get mono lead. He has BKB now, so... Yes, that Realize will help that's quite a bit, a as this game atmosphere. has somehow gone from the dark and dank crevasse that it was in to a pretty even game. 2k net worth for Vici at 38 minutes. I, In my mind, Vici just hit a really strong timing now with two 10-second BKBs. OD is not good against them. Coddle is worthless against these BKBs. Ogre is useless as well. There's actually more or less no way that Secret kill a hero in BKB oh right boy. now. Oh boy. Roshan being attempted by Vici Gaming right now. Fata, the Infest Bomb is on its way. They'll find him. They're going to go off the Fire Blast. He's going to work on the Paparazzi. We pop the BKB. Chronosphere onto two. Looks like most of the damage not being, uh, not really that much, but the Lifestealer are the cheese off. Oh my god, he gets the cheese off just in time. Now he's dealing even more damage. The Refresher Chart still on the ground right now. BKB pop by Lan M. Ace working on more supports. It's a two for one. Mid one to first to fall. Secret triple kill for Ace. He is an absolute beast. And Medusa falls afterwards. Who picked up the refresher shard? Looks like Fata got the Aegis. An enormous fight for Team Secret. Young 11. Looks like he'll be able to get that TP up. Oh, he gets stunned with the blinding light again. Puppy continuing the chase. TP canceled. Young 11 with no mana to speak of. See if they can actually get this kill. Mana leak again. And that is another kill. That's a team wipe for Team Secret. And Ace and company, they're, they're on the footsteps of Vici's base. There are so many incredible things happening in these fights. Like, so perfect blinding light from Yapsor so they can steal the Aegis with the Ogre. They got multiple really good stuns off with the Ogre in that fight, the swap. Everything coming together for Secret. It looked like Vici were going to have a good fight there. They got the two hero Chronosphere, but Ace with 5% HP getting the cheese off just ruined their entire team fight. And the big problem there is it's a good Chrono. Medusa is hitting in the Chrono on this, onto this life stealer, but Mirana, where was she? Who was she attacking in that Chronosphere? They needed that extra bit of damage. And Secret just maximizing here. They will get at least two lanes of barracks now. Yes. I actually cannot believe they came back in this game. I, it's, this is a crazy, crazy game for sure. 7k net worth lead here for Team Secret. They take two lanes of racks. They're going to back up now. Medusa is back in 10 seconds along with them running in 25. I'll almost now guarantee will, you this. will Vici Gaming come back in this game is the question. <laughs> I'll almost guarantee you this. If we, there will not be a bigger comeback in this finals than this if Secret wins. I feel like it's like actually an enormous comeback. Yeah. It's, it's not only the amount of gold, it's the position they were in the game, the lineups. Yeah, the lineups is a big deal. For, who has a refresher shot right now? Anybody? Uh, what do we got here? Coddle, current. Okay. Is there anybody that you would like that to have it on that's not Coddle? Uh, OD. Maybe. OD, double sanity <laughs> eclipse. Okay. 
Paparazzi trying to push out this oh, man. Swap. Huge swap from Puppy. Whoa. That is a long range, and he gets destroyed. 84 right. seconds, no void. This might be the beginning of the end of game one of this best of five finals for Captain's Draft 4.0 Ace. Applying more pressure to this tier three tower that Mystic Snake's not going to do a whole lot this stage of the game. And this is going to be mega creeps for secret as they're just going to blow up another member. Disruptor falls to the deck. Ori trying his best to hold the heroes at bay. Pops that BKB along with the Stone Gaze. But Secret doesn't seem to care too much about it. As look at that damage on the Mirage. She jumps in and just gets insta give. GG comes out. Team Secret. Wow. That is a ridiculous game from them. Like you said, not only from a net worth standpoint, but their lineup compared to Vici made no sense late game. And they, they found a way, my friend. Good lord. Just these very, very, again.